One, two. There we go. Now we're working. What's up, guys? Welcome. Uh, I had a technical issue. You know how it goes. Um, everything crashed all of a sudden. That's just OBS, I suppose. Um, how you guys doing? We have a new game today. Just turn something else on to break everything else again. One sec. Okay, now I'm blue. But that's just on the camera. Oh, oh. Let's just see. Okay, we're good. I think. Vector source. There we go. All right. So. We're going to be playing Manor Lords. And the NDA embargo is dropping in 11 minutes. I, I I won't be doing any opinions on anything. I've just tried it, so it works. I'll I'll give you some opinions later. I won't do uh, any kind of review video because the embargo on data is even longer. But we'll be playing the game. But I will tell you, it's it's worth your time. So please stay. You might be very interested in this game, especially for like this type of games. Make uh, Defer Banana Irish. What up, guys? What up, guys on YouTube? Uh, yes, I'm from Croatia, correct. That's what the flag is for there. <laughs> Anyways, should we check out? Oh my god. Gameplay walkthrough part one. Okay, so... These are people that shouldn't have posted their videos. Alright. I don't know, let's just see this gameplay uh, trailer. Together. We have 10 minutes to spend. Welcome to Manor Lords. Let's get to work. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to some of the core mechanics of the game, including regional development, trade, and military recruitment. We need more workers here. The map in Manor Lords is divided into regions. Each region has its own resources, as well as... I need to turn the music off. I'm sorry. Um, so, I've played a little bit. But I haven't seen any of the army stuff yet. I don't know how that works. But I've played a little bit. But we'll play together. I'll start over now at the start of the stream. I'll start over. We'll go for the beginning. Uh... But a development tree. concepts are mostly when you are easily understandable. Residential buildings in the region, you get development points, which you can spend to unlock new development branches. This means that different regions may specialize in different things. Some may be more optimized for farming. Some for mining. By the way. This what I'm seeing here, this is some old build. I think a lot of things look different now, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure. You have some videos of some approved gameplay uh, commentaries and stuff like that. Uh, let's plays and all of that. You have some on YouTube that are a little bit more fresh than this. So I think those are a lot more up to date than this, but And some will process the resources to make expensive goods like shoes or clothing. Depending on the optimization of your production chains, the price of the goods will change, affecting the market attractiveness. Free merchants will travel more frequently to towns that have rare and more affordable goods. By the way, you can also see that people are like they're individuals. You don't have that many people. You're not going to have hundreds of thousands of people. Because every single one is has, I guess, a name, and uh, is also rendered. Uh, it's always in a certain spot. They don't teleport around. Like everything is done manually. All the resource collection and the trade and everything else is done manually. Stuff takes months to do and all that. It doesn't feel too slow, but it takes a long time to do. 
in game time, let's These call it. Are the only way to get wealth in the game. And and the fact that you can have the camera do this, like this is actual gameplay footage, right? This is not some uh, some rendered stuff. This is gameplay footage. You can just zoom in and have the game look like this. Lord's treasury, however, is split from the regional wealth. As the lord or lady, you must tax your towns and villages in order to get money for your personal endeavors. There are different taxes giving various benefits. For example, There's six the different taxes. What? The church, but in return, the church gives you influence. So like politics in real life. Every so often, the king gives out valuable rewards to the most influential lords on the map, including new territories. You can compliment or insult other lords via the diplomacy system to affect their influence. Hey, Khalid. How's it going? You also do correspondence with the other leaders, like you send letters. And it's not instant, like you cannot talk instantly like that. Maybe if they send it some kind of don't. I don't know if that exists, but. <clears throat> the recruitment system in Manor Lords has been redesigned after some community feedback. It is now divided into three unit categories. First type of recruits are the peasant militia. You can call to arms the peasants from your villages. They grab Carry whatever pigeon, pretty much. weapons they have and join the fight. This will hit your economy and you'll need at least a couple of villages to form an army. If you want better militia, you must train them at the training camp or the archery range. The second type of recruits are mercenaries. They cost silver and a lot of it. The last type is Lord's Retinue. This is a limited, heavily armored unit that you can customize to your liking. So this game is coming out into early access uh, on the 26th, I think. But uh, there's a press and a content creator version that is playable right now for the press and content creators that they've given out the version to. And uh, in four minutes, we'll be able to boot up the game and play it uh, and stream it. Like I can play it right now, but I cannot stream it. Oh my god, you can have horses as well? Like horsemen? Didn't realize that. Thank you for joining in for this short preview of Manor Lord's gameplay systems. If you're interested in discussing the game, be sure to visit Manor Lord's Discord and subreddit. See you all in the next video. All right. All right. So. Uh, one sec. Did you see the minimum specs for this game? Manor Lord's minimum specs. Can we see it on their Steam page? Where, where, do, where do you find a minimum spec? Oh, there we go. Look at this. Minimum specs. I5-4670. What? 4670. A gig RAM at 1050 GTX. So that's minimum specs, and then recommended, and I guess that's to get 60 FPS in game. Um, i5 7600, that's still, like, almost everyone has better these days. That's a high minimum. Yeah, that's the deal, like, minimum specs, uh, 1050 for being minimum is, I mean... It's average, I would say, these days for a brand new game on Unreal. Uh, but recommended specs, 1060. I want to see how this runs on a 1060. Yeah. It, because I think it has DLSS and FSR. 
So you can choose whatever works for you, but you're most likely going to be playing a game like this with DLSS on. Um, so, uh, one more minute, guys. I won't say anything else, but uh, one more minute. I'll boot up the game. We're going to be ready in a sec to go. I already tested, everything works, like there, there's no bugs or anything. The game feels, I mean, I, I won't say polished, but it feels good. And uh, let's get ready for it. Because this is one of the biggest launches this year, actually, Matter Lords. It has 2 million wish lists on Steam. Steam wish list. Top wish lists. Matter Lords number one, huh? Yeah. It's the number one most wishlisted game. Wow. I've really not looked into any of the content from Mana Lords before, but here we go. All right, we can boot it. Let's go, guys. Let's go. We're booting the game. You played the demo. All right. All right, here we go. Just set up the audio levels. Alright, we're not gonna go too loud today. Baldur's Gate 3 or strategy games? Hope so. So, in the settings, in graphic settings, I'm on everything highest. Alright, 1440p Ultra. And from what I've played, this game runs on, at least at the start, it runs on 200 plus FPS with DLSS. Um, FSR gives you some crazy ghosting. I would say DLSS is a lot better um, with sharpening. 200 plus FPS with no hiccups or anything. Super smooth. But let's see if we can push it further. Let's do a new game. Uh, I've, I've had a banner here. There's a banner of, uh, of my hometown. Close to like that. <laughs> All right. But you can customize. Wait, go back. You can customize this banner in so many different ways. Um, you can play around with it. It's it's pretty crazy what you can do. Benevolent king or a tyrant? And then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways. Uh, we'll see. Can I be a tyrant? But there's diff uh, different scenario templates. Rise to prosperity. So basically, this is like... Uh, build a big town, basically. This is conquer every region. All right. You build your village and you start attacking people. And this one is survive all the attacks and reach the large town sediment level. So this is this is the hardest uh, template. Of course, you can also change stuff here. There's domination. There's growth. There's conquest. Yeah. All right. So if we click here, we, we're playing Domination, which is eliminate all other lords. Um, I can't really say too much more. But let's go. I haven't played enough to know. I, I love this screen. It looks really epic. I love it. It's cinematic format. Anyways, let me just the camera position. There we go. I suppose this is the best camera position. I mean, I guess. Boost the music a little bit, maybe.
All right. So, as you can see, the interface is trying to stay out of your way. Like, the game focuses very hard on visuals. Look at this. You can go anywhere. You can just zoom in as much as you want, and you can zoom out as well. Okay, so red is us. Diablo 2 clone, yeah. Lava on you? Let's put some corn on it. Uh, this is a... Uh, uh, this is a... Uh, how do you call this game? This game... This is like Settlers 1. If you played Settlers 1... This is closest to Settlers. It, they just introduced this whole 3D thing. Where you uh, just... Yeah, it just looks so much better. And the, the, this is the crazy part. Look at this. You can spawn as the the boss. Where, where am I? It didn't spawn in the right spot. Not sure if this is bugged a little bit. Did he spawn in the correct spot? Why can't I see anyone? Uh, they're down this way. Hey, Randall. I guess it counts as a real-time strategy, but I mean, it's a city builder. It's basically a city builder with combat similar to Total War. Yeah, the shoes are really nice. Anyways. Ride a horse while in third person view. Uh, this is some experimental feature currently. I'm not sure you can ride anything. I doubt it. Because you kind of pass through stuff. Because again, it's... it's uh, Obviously, it's not finished. It's not even an early access yet. Now I'm a tent. But, I mean, the details look really good. Look, look at how detailed this is. It's basically like Skyrim level uh, graphics. And a city builder game. Anyo. No face? No, there is a face. I just can't... I, I don't know how to make him stand still. Did he survive with combat from Total War? Horrible environment. Yeah. I've never played a game like that, but at the same time, it is it is similar to Settlers. Um, in a lot of ways. Anyways. You can change the speed. You can do normal... Fast forward, uh, 4x and 12x. Okay. Anyways, we're playing the dominance victory condition, so we need to kill everyone <laughs> around us. In almost all cases, resources and mana lords have to be physically moved. You can take a moment, so feel free to change the game speed if you like it. All right. Uh, by the way, the tutorial is great in this game, I would say. Yeah, crew. What up? One sec. A sec. Yes, Star Hunter. Exactly. Food and fuel. So, in order for your people to survive, you, you need to hover over here. You need to see how much fuel and food you have. Fuel is just, I guess, wood and then charcoal later. I don't know what else, but they need something. Uh, they also need food, obviously. Different types of food are better because they're more immune to disease. Yes, you can cut trees. Yeah, yeah. You can do a lot of things. Um, and they need shelter, so they need their own houses. Where they live. And and they're grouped into families. You can put families to do different work, basically. 
Uh, all right. Uh, heal the bolt. We're right back. You have no rifle claim to sell bits and Hofstetten. I guess that's around us. Need silver? Request ones? I can't do any of these. This is probably not done fully. Oh, okay. So I'm... Uh, oh, that's his. These are his regions. All right. You can see the map here. We are somewhere... Whoa, whoa. Where did we start? Okay, we started here. This is a little bit weird. Oh, it does show on the map. Now I see it. See these little dots here? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, def. Oh, we have to check the VOD then. But yeah. Walls and towers? Um, I'm not sure you can build walls and towers. I'm not sure. And check. Construction. I don't think you can. Anyways, a region has strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, there's soil fertility, there's different deposits, like wild uh, hunt, um, or like game. Um, if you're missing something, you should set up trade, but I think these initial scenarios are not missing anything. So what we're going to do first as we have how much we have eight timber we should just construct a logging camp uh let me just check the fertility first fertility okay so we're we're gonna build a field here later underground water there's water everywhere okay hey kaga what's up Mm, what do we want to clear? We can clear... Hmm... I'll look for some green stuff. <laughs> okay, let's start clearing this way. Unassigned families work on construction automatically. So you can assign families to do only one thing. And the unassigned guys are always going to do construction and transporting. Can I stay with the tree? Timber requires oxen to be moved. Villagers would automatically get the ox. Alright. So you can also build roads. Uh, allow... Oh, you can use handcarts. They need roads for the handcarts. Anyways, roads are free to build, so you can just do whatever the hell you want with the roads. And obviously we're going to go for a more ru rustic approach to roads. A little bit left and right. Okay. Uh, we're going to start housing as well. Let's start houses here. Or we're going to put like a bunch on high priority. Uh, so houses. See how this works. You have a lot of freedom how you, you can put down the plots. And also you can expand that later. Extension cost. Yeah, 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 yeah. This this video is well. I don't think it looks this way anymore. But you can just do it this way. This is a big house. This is a proper manor already. Come on, lady. Come on. I'm gonna put some smaller ones on this side. We go. And what's cool, what makes this game really special in this regard is 
how you can build like this. You can make uneven um, plots. And it still makes a really nice house in it, so. Banished? I've not played Banished. I haven't played Anno in a long time. I don't even know what it looks like anymore. Anyways, every single good has to be transported. A lot of goods are transported one by one. Something to keep in mind. Lord Rings mod? Potentially, I suppose. Uh, also, we need to put this on highest priority. And we're going to put this one on high and this one on high. Oh, okay. We need to deal with the goods. Okay, so we need a storehouse. So this is a storehouse. Not enough goods. We spent a little bit too much wood. We're just going to employ everyone in the logging camp. Boom, boom. Livestock workforce is shared between workplaces, but you can bind it to a workplace permanently in the advanced tab. Because you don't have that many animals, especially at the start. We only have one animal, and the animals have to be used to transport the logs to build stuff. So if you only have one ox, it's going to take forever to build anything. If it takes like four timber, it's going to take forever. So I would say the priority at the start is to get as many animals that can work as possible. Uh, okay. Unassigned oxen work on... Wait, we technically don't need roads because we don't have hand carts. Anyways, you can see these things coming in and now they're going to start building. It's so cool how you can see the building process. Obviously, the villagers sometimes go through stuff. Like, they just pass through the logs. But... Let's say we can ignore that for now, right? Doesn't really kill the immersion yet. Anyways, uh, let's see. We have zero timber. We just have to get more people working on timber. Let's see how that looks like. Yeah, what's inside? I can't see inside. Oh, he's just chopping. Yeah. So there's a few issues with stuff passing through. Literally unplayable. He's... <laughs> He went inside the house to chop the wood that, uh, whoa. That fell in onto the house. Oh. Oh. So you can see there's two different families working on this. And it says, woodcutter debranching a tree. So they have to debranch a tree. And this is normal speed. You can obviously put it on fast forward. At the start, you're mostly going to be playing fast forward, I suppose. Unless you're just chilling. This is a very chill game. It's just... I haven't played a game that is this immersive right away in, in a long, long time. Like, it just looks good and feels good. This is with DLSS, by the way. Okay, so homeless moved to a finished house. And um, their families will potentially grow. And people will keep moving into empty houses as long as your approval rate is more than 50%. You got wood now? No, not yet. Unfortunately. It seems... Because if we go into construction... Okay, we got one timber. We need two for a storehouse. 
because you start with some goods laid out here and you need to move them otherwise they're gonna get soaked when the next rain hits hitching post okay we're gonna order another ox i don't know what horses do what is this upgrade to small stable uh let's let's just or we, do we even have money we have 50. let's order a horse i've never used a horse Oh, my homies hate streamers with early access. As they should. They really should. It isn't available on PS5? Is it gonna launch on PS5 though? I don't know. Okay, we have enough timber now. So let's do the... Okay, let's do it like this. So, we're gonna make a granary. So, that's for food. Uh, where, where are we gonna do a, like a... Hmm. This is fertile stuff. So, let's do it here. So, granary here. And a storehouse here. Wait, let's do a road first. That and the storehouse here doesn't fit. Do we not have enough timber? We do. Okay, let's just put it on the other side. Then. They're not using the roads uh, right now anyway. It's mostly for handcart, I can tell. We need these hitching posts. So basically, it's where you tie the oxen. So whenever they're done, they're not going to go all the way across to the, the old hitching post. You can just build multiple. And you can freely relocate them too. Come on. Come along. Anyways, we can order one horse every month. Like, one per month. Or an ox. Stable space. Okay, we'll work on that. Why did it throw us here? Oh, you can see the town on the... Oh. Okay, 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 okay. This hitching post here. Let's get to work. Playable online? I don't think so. Not at the start. This game's in my wish, wish list since 2017. Yeah. Yeah, but it did seem like they wanted to do it really well first. Look at the details here, guys. Just there's so many details. I don't know how to turn off the UI, but maybe if we use our main man here. Again, this is some new feature, apparently. Let's speed this up. Very high priority. We have two timber. Super high priority, Hitchum. AOE first person? Something like that. Or third person. But yeah. Transporting stone. So now they're transporting stuff where? Uh, something required stone. This requires stone. How do you get new families? You build houses, and then they move into empty houses from somewhere. You also get kids as they move into houses. So currently, we're on five families. At level one. I think they should probably do it. <laughs> it's just level uh, guys, we're a level two family. You know, maybe they should call it something else. But yeah, <laughs> immersion breaking.
Oh, look at all the felled trees here. Damn. Anyways. My camera works needs to improve. Level one family? Yeah. Anyways, so we're missing this. We fixed that storehouse. Granary fixed that. We need hitching posts fixed that. And we need more houses. We haven't fixed that fully. Uh, because I changed the priorities. Uh, they stopped building this house that was basically done. Um, yeah. Plot one, plot two. Plot that. Where is everyone at? Unassigned waiting. Are you kidding me? What the? Unassigned waiting? With high priority on the house? Let's put it very high. So it finishes. But why would they be waiting? Is there really nothing else to do? Oh, 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 oh. Constructing. Okay. I think he's gonna go and finish the house, but like, why is he going left? Uh, you can technically see who's doing what. Oh, he's constructing the hitching post. They're all doing it. Okay, highest. Maybe they just needed to chill for a moment. Anyways. So, roads. Roads, you just make dirt roads. Jobs cap, maybe the jobs uh, are fully staffed. I don't know exactly how it works yet. By the way, there's uh, certain milestones. So you get upgrades. So you can use the talent tree. Um, here you need plots. Uh, we have two third one finishing. We need two more. And then we're a small village. Banished? I've not played banished. Could be. Man, they're chopping. Uh, we're going to lower the amount of people there. We need another animal. Wait, so did we lose an animal because we didn't have an extra stable? I think that makes sense. Do these skylands of medieval times? Something like that. I don't think the cities get too gigantic here, though. Like, you cannot make a castle, as far as I know. And the game is called Manor Lords. Yeah. Anyways. We also need a marketplace. So we can start working on that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We also need a well. Put it here. Storehouse is done. We can assign a family to run the storehouse. And then we need a market. Does anyone need to run this? Like, what is the point of having people here? Workers collect, store, and distribute goods using generic storage. If needed, they also automatically set up stalls on the marketplace to distribute the store goods to the... Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna work on food in a sec. We have three months left. There's berries right here, so we're gonna just collect berries. Let's set that up too. It's just, you need to do stuff one by one, otherwise it just falls apart. But I guess you can do priorities and stuff. Um, Rating post, no, no, no. Marketplace. Do the marketplace like here. Base for 10 stalls. So, uh, this is basically a shop. People want to go to a shop, and you need people that will be running the shops as well. Let's see. Oh, I've not seen this yet. Oh, so the fuel can go here. So it's firewood and charcoal. All right. 
Okay, now everyone is... Wait, are they using hand carts? Is he gonna use the road now? Conrad. Castles will be a few months in DLC, probably. <laughs> Uh, we just don't have enough families. We need to build more houses. This still isn't done. Okay, how about having a few more points? Oh, maybe if we do it like this. Uh, that looks weird. Okay, let's just do it like this then. You can only designate four points, which makes it weird. Also, I need this road to be a little bit longer, probably. That is an interesting idea, Randall, but there's isn't it only two results on Twitch? What we can do <laughs> Ultra with 35, thanks. Thanks, Ultra. I appreciate it. Anyways. Playing this new game, man. Looks pretty good so far. And it runs pretty well right now. Okay, we need to get everyone a house. So we're just going to do the poor guys here. Rotate. Oh, this is like a one big house. I don't like that. What if we do it this way? Yeah, this is better. I don't have enough timber. Probably shouldn't have done this market yet. But at the same time, these guys from the storehouse, they run a market stall. These guys run a market stall. I feel like... A lot of these different guys automatically have one family member running the market stall. Okay, let's focus on food now. I don't know why my chat is lagging. Anyways, forager help. But... Rotate. Uh, road is R, by the way. You can also adjust the curvature of the road. Yes, 1440p is normal, Kovacic. I'm streaming in 1440p. There's no 1080p, though. Okay, it's a little bit dark in the game right now. Raining. Man, they're still transporting this stuff. Transporting tools. Okay, we need to put someone in, in here. Just so they get this freaking bread out of the way. Because this will get destroyed in the rain as far as I know. Hey, Silo. Oh, the horse came in, guys. The horse came in. What do you do with a horse? Horse. Uh. 
Yeah, what do we do with a horse? Horses. Oh man, it's generic story. What the hell? Bernardo, but only uh, other option gives me a 720. Yeah. Slavic magic? I honestly don't know where the guys are from. I don't think they're from Croatia. Yeah, on him, something like that. Yeah, what do you what do you do with a horse? I think I messed up by buying a horse, guys. Okay, saving. Kind of funny how the rain looks. This <laughs> is weird um all right let's do we also need to do a hunting camp but it's going to be very hard to get stuff there so we need more oxen there's a barn there's all kinds of stuff uh but i need to figure out what to put down here first uh hitching post we'll put one here Exposed stocks are getting soaked. Okay, but they're taking all the bread, so that's fine. We have enough food for three months. Monkas. We also need... Uh, a firewood lodge. Man, they destroyed this whole forest. Look at this. These are not bushes. These are just felled trees. Let me see... Fertility. Where does barley grow? Nowhere. Nowhere here. Rye. Okay, we can destroy this forest then. Okay, yeah, let's let's get this done. Mm, woodcutter's Lodge. Yeah, the rotation is a little bit weird. At least the roads are free. Why one more bet who's gonna win the race? Maybe there's a win condition like that. Yeah, I don't know what the horses are for. Riding with your guy? Fortunately, you pass through everything with the guy. Uh, we, ha we have food for two more months. Come on, guys. Highest priority. Let's go. Forget this. For forget that. Highest priority. Get the... F we're gonna die. <laughs> we're gonna die. Wait, you can turn fasting on. I saw that you can turn fasting on. Uh, this is like a talent tree. Um, development points that you can put in so you can get uh, more buildings you can get higher efficiency you can get some trade-offs like produces more of that but does 50% less of that whatever we'll check that out uh, when we get the first point unassigned waiting why is everyone unassigned Oh, there's too many people. Oh. But what do people do here? Assigned families become permanent ox guides. Oh. Yeah. Everyone is assigned. Okay, we still have five families. 
We don't have, uh... Yeah, some people are freezing, and they're homeless. Okay, we're gonna speed up the game. Just so we build the, the berry bush thing, ASAP. We only have three timber. And this is going somewhere where I'm really not... Too happy. Why? Why? Yeah. I need it here. We have like one and a half months worth of food left. Yeah, biggest mistake was not getting an oxen, but we can get it in three days. Uh, finally, here we go. Someone can come in and finish this now. There we go. Constructing. Poor homeless people. Um, the well. So, you see, people need certain things. Oh, construct a backyard extension. Extra production functionality. Oh. They can grow vegetables in the backyard? Wait, what? Chicken coop, goat shed, apples. Bakery. Wow, so every house can do some extra work in the back. Builder's workshop. Okay. Uh, we only have 20 money. Tax policy. Uh, how do we do tax? I don't think I can click anything. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Berries. Herb garden. We need more wealth. Unassigned families are needed for construction work. Yeah. How's the game? Brass feels very good. Runs alright, too. This is on 4x speed currently, and it still runs at like 100 FPS. I guess. On ultra settings. This is full maxed out settings. Yeah, man, I was buying some stuff off of Amazon, and... You click a click, and then you type in that you're from Croatia. And then it's like plus 5% on top of the German tax. I hit it. Let alone the shipping. But... Okay, we can also plant trees. Okay, they're still constructing that. We have people working here. Maybe we should have built a house. But okay. We are getting food, guys. You have to pay import tax. Yeah, Amazon UK. In Ireland. Yeah. Mm hmm So this is being done, so we're not gonna have any more homeless people, which is good. We're gonna do a... F no, we don't want the Forester's Hut. We're just gonna move this thing. But, let's go and order another Oxen. Or Ox. Order placed. <sighs> really brass. Aha. Uh -huh. We got a development point. My approval rate is not great, but it's going to go up. A strong militia is paramount. 
We got a shipment of weapons. And we'll be able to create our first uh, militia banners to serve us. Need more weapons to equip all the people as the settlement grows, either by making or importing them from other lands. Okay, we need to find a way to get more money. Should we make a marketplace? Let's see. Hunting camp. Dude, oh my, that's so far away. Look at where this is at. Can we just do it randomly? Like inside the village? Make a hunting camp? Let's try that, if that works. I don't know if it works. Yeah, Neo, it's one of the things that I noticed first when I came to the US. It's really weird, because we don't have that kind of issues in Europe, at least not that much. Okay, they're working. Ah, uh, yeah, this horse is such a waste. Oh my. So let's see if we can maybe upgrade something so we get horses. Uh, a lot of this stuff isn't available yet, but... Okay, let's take a look. So, we can have an apple orchard. Apple harvest happens around September every year. But it takes three years for the trees to grow fully. Oh my god, this is a long haul game. <laughs> sheep breeding, sheep grazing on the pasture slowly multiply. I wonder how they do that. Um... Heavy plow enables employing oxen at the farmhouse for significantly faster plowing of large fields, as well as bringing crops back to storage more efficiently. Okay, foreign suppliers, a permanent market stall which provides a passive income of firewood as long as the region has enough regional wealth. And the second one is bread. End goal of this game? It's medieval city building, but currently in this scenario that we're playing, we're supposed to uh, kill everyone else on the map. So we're playing against one opponent, uh, NPC, but uh, I guess we don't have to play a gigantic map at the start. Trade logistics. Establishing a new trader always costs a maximum of 25 regional wealth. Regional wealth, that's money. Basic armor making. We definitely don't need that. Charcoal burning. Whatever. Beekeeping. Honey. Forest management. Doubles capacity of all buried deposits. Trapping enables hunters to skillfully lay traps in the forest. Which give a passive income of meat. I kind of like this one. I'm not sure if I like this one or this one, but the, the, the foreign supplies, I'm not sure what it means as long as the region has enough regional wealth. Enough for what? I mean, how much is enough? <laughs> okay, what else can we unlock? Better deals. Okay, bakeries, fertilization. Okay. Irrigation, rye cultivation, more resilient pelt extraction, advanced skinning, advanced beekeeping. What's down here? Deep mining. Okay, uh, let's let's do trapping, I guess. Does lay stuff in the forest. Yeah, that sounds interesting. Oh wait, we can box stuff. Wonder what this is for. Oh my god, we have no fuel. Why? 
Then we make this new tent somewhere. Of course, it's not done. Of course, demolish. Let's do it here. Apparently, it's too far away. Woodcutter's Lodge. Highest priority. So, even though I would say the game is pretty immersive, even with the rain and everything, I feel like it's hard to see stuff. Like, almost a little bit too hard to see. What do you guys think? Is it too dark? Let me just see if I can boost the colors a little bit. for the stream like when I look at the preview it doesn't look that good now it looks a little bit better but yeah nobody's uh, working guys everyone's just I don't know where maybe it's the rain that makes them not do stuff or saturation yeah, but there's, there's not that many colors in the game currently, in the sweater at least. Otherwise, the, the game looks great. It's just... Hmm... Pay off? Seems to be. Okay, how do we get cash? Amount of money owed by villagers from the... Where do we put the taxes on? We need to turn the taxes on. I don't think we can turn the taxes on before we reach medium village or something. How do we reach that church? Clothing stall supply. How do we get it to level 2? By the way, you can click on people. You can see where they're at. So one is in the house. Here, I mean, they're all working. We only have 15 people. Okay, uh, we're getting some fuel now, which is good. And the approval is going up. So can we finally finish this, please? Very high. Nobody's transporting the the timber. They're using the roads now? Um, not really, because I mean, wh what is an ox pulling a pulling a log? It's just gonna destroy the road. <laughs> but again. When you put this game on 1x speed, it's very slow. They have to take everything by hand, manually. It's just very slow. But now someone's going to come out and build this. Like these guys, Fritz. Yeah, Fritz is, uh, is on the job, guys. He's building the woodcutter's lodge. Fritz and uh, Linhart. Why is everyone German? I don't know how you can rename them. I don't think there's like a people... People tab? I don't think so. There's nothing like that in this game. Anyways, let's get people working on this. No unassigned families to guide the ox. Yeah, this is problematic. So we're just going to turn off the logging. Nobody's going to work here. Wait, why is there an ox here? What the hell? Okay, someone just took it away. 
We need more. We need more animals. This horse just... It, what a mistake. Where, where, where are you going with the logs? Where are you putting them back? But they put the logs back. <laughs> Maybe they came from up here, but it still makes no sense. Anyways, at least we got berries so we can survive. And apparently we're getting more firewood here. Let's see what they're, they're actually doing. So they're just burning the trees. This is heavier than it looks. Boink. Funny. Okay, the plot is done. So now we just wait for more families to come in because currently there's nobody in as far as I know. Yeah, these two are empty. They're gonna come in one day. Anyways, let's make a market next. Trade, trading post. Oh, that's so big, what the hell? Feel like that. I hate this little horse being here. Can we move this for free? Like that. Oh no, we cannot. What the hell? Highest priority. Hey, Leonovsky. I know, I will be too. This is a rare opportunity where I get to play a game two weeks before everyone else. Pretty much. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes on yeah, I don't think there's any way to rename people. You can't click on people. Like, there's this button, uh, there's this, you see the little, uh, what is it called, the, this icon, the, uh, glass, uh, not spyglass, but, oh my god, what is the name? Smurfing? Yeah. Oh my god, resource stolen by bandits? Damn bandits. Oh, look at them. Wait, from there? Magnifying glass. Thank you. Yeah, but it doesn't do anything. Look at these bandits. They're fighting each other? That makes sense. They stole my berries. We're gonna have to make militia. Where are we? Here. So you can see our uh, village on the map. Treasury. Build the manor to enable taxation in any control region. Okay. Administration. Manor. We need 20 planks and 15... I don't know what that is. Clay or something? Uh, 15... Uh, what is that? I don't... I can't even see it on the list. That sentence, yeah. Oh, okay, so where's the, the ox? 
that isn't working right now. <gasps> Woodcutter's Lodge. Hunting. We won't have enough people. Oh, we got another family. Nice. Let's keep these lots coming. See how I can build? A lot too small. What do you mean it's too small? It's like twice as big as... Where? Oh, because of the orientation, apparently. That's a premium slot, a uh, plot there. Uh, all right. All right, all right. Let's take it easy now. We are good on food and on fuel. This thing is, if we got 86 berries and three breads. But people are gonna get sick. If they eat only one type of food, or even two, they get sick. Apparently. I'm just waiting a guide coming. Isn't this done? It is. Okay, there's a second knot. Okay, so I feel like the first tip would be uh, assign an ox to work here somehow. Or just put this pitching post right next to the logging camp because that's where the, they're most useful. Because these things are so freaking slow. So the logging camp should be literally right next to where you're building at the start. Like, you don't put it in the most efficient spot, just put it right next to your your housing. And, uh, you'll move it later. Okay, let's work on some other stuff. So, we set a trading post. Connected to road network, permanent livestock. Oh, but... But I don't want to. Oh, well, we can trade. We can export stuff, but stone and planks, but we don't have any of those. <laughs> can we export berries? We can. Export. Desired surplus. I don't know. 50? 55? Export price three. After paying to establish a trade route, a dedicated traveling merchant will regularly visit your region to trade only this specific type of good. Oh, that's not great. We need to pay to establish a trade route. Yikes. Okay, we can also buy some weapons, but it says it's a major trade. Okay. Uh-huh. Horse with a carriage. All right. Trading post. We need more families. We just don't have enough people to assign to all these different things. I need to assign someone to this. Yeah. Yeah, let's just not do anything. Wait, there's a... Order a new horse. But well, we don't have any carriage. Why is it? So there seems to be no way to to move this cow to the other spot unless you build a whole new uh, hitching post. Hmm. What does the horse do? It seems like it pulls a carriage, but or uh, like armed men can ride it. Uh, army, by the way, let's do army. We have we have spears and shields, so we're gonna do spear militia. The male villagers will be evenly distributed between all militia units. 
They will then try to find required equipment. Okay. After bringing all the necessary equipment home, the unit recruits are marked as ready to rally. Alright. Spirit Militia. So we're missing some spears and shields. They don't have any other armor. We can also hire mercenaries. But I think we first need to work on getting a manor so we can tax people. Because there's no way to do anything else before that. I don't see a way to get any coins. And we need coin. Livestock trading post. Oh. Okay, so we need planks. And I don't know what this other thing is. But we'll figure it out. And planks we make from timber. So let's just make it right here. Actually, like right here. My priority. Work speed. Oh, look, everyone is taking spears. <laughs> They're bringing the, their weapons home. They got their licenses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop it. Stop it. How does that work? I guess we'll see in a sec. Uh, we're going to be running out of timber in a sec. Hey, can we see the bandits? I don't think we can. Iron, clay, wild animals. Are these guys hunting anything? They're just literally FK or what? Whoa. Oh, look at that. Did you get anything? Transporting large shields? <gasps> they had to be pulled back to get shields. No. <laughs> you can just make massive blunders in this game with. <laughs> when they just have to take some other job all of a sudden. Robot guys, one sec. New mer mercenary companies available. Can it stop raining, man? It still says that we don't have enough stable space. I don't get it. Was this never finished or what? Not enough wealth. Where's the fourth animal? I thought we had three. Okay, so we need a church, 
And we need enough supply of any of the following materials in the market. Linen, leather, and yarn. We need one of those. Tools, stone, firewood. Oh, apparently we have a bunch of firewood. I think we can stop with the food for now. We're trying to build a manor so we can finally play this game. This isn't being built for some reason. What the hell? We do have 10 timber. And it's right here. Funny how they cleared out this whole area. Also, how many families do we have? Okay. Not, no population growth because we don't have any free houses. All right, let's fix that. Well, perhaps it was simply a bad These things I'm going full rustic. Of course. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. Pots are too big. Access to herbs might speed up their recovery. Okay, how do we get herbs? I think it was here. Had a herb garden. We need money. <gasps> Guys, we got we got three cash from somewhere. I don't know where from, but we got three. <gasps> how do we get three? Oddly specific too. Can you freaking build this? Highest priority. Ten years later. Work on the roof, good sir. You sold something? I don't know. But I don't have a single trade route. I need to establish it, so. And there's nobody manning this, so I don't know how I could sell something. Okay, let's uh, cut the firewood. Livestock, one oxen, one horse. Table space, two out of three. Don't don't we have more? Construction reserve. Do like ten. So we don't want to use up all the timber for for planks. Probably sign an ox here, if possible. Going home. Yeah, the, here's the deal. People need to go home. A lot. Do a vegetable garden. Previous homelessness. Recent 30 days. Market food variety. So this approval rate affects uh, militia too.
I don't know how we fight against bandits. Can we see them coming in? That would be pretty handy if we could. But they will be coming from this side. So that way? Like through the woods, maybe? Oh my. Okay. Still need to figure out what the manor is. Clothing stall supply. Uh, okay. What is needed for this? Small village. Okay, we're a small village. Only 20 planks and 15 of something that I don't know what it is. Twenty-one folks. Can we shut this down? I did. Uh, maybe we can start the quarry. It's a pleasure to meet you. Letter sent to the outlaws. See what they say. Anyways, let's start uh, mining the stone here. I'm going to do this. Go through here. This is never going to get built, by the way. Never. Because technically, I think we need to make a small village on this side. Clay. I still don't know what we need. Nothing makes sense. Come on, people. Get to work. Oh. I just deleted half of the stone. Did I did I just delete half of the stone? Thought you had to put it on top or something. I don't know. <laughs> it just deleted it. Oh no, no. Pitching post. Wow, they're getting wood here instantly. Well done. Seasonal rich deposit, iron deposit, clay deposit. We do. Do we get the clay? Yeah, this thing you have to put on top. A bandit camp was sighted. Oh, another bandit camp. Okay, great. We still have three cash guys. I, I don't know what this is. This pink stone, the, it doesn't look the same as clay. Or does it? Let's double check. You'll not find else. The clay looks different. Is this like a small oversight by the devs? Might be. It's probably clay. Highest. Oh, we got more people moving in. Eight families now. Nice, nice, nice. 
We'll need more fuel again. Are we making the planks? Okay, we have five planks. Let's get more people going. Working on planks. Planks. One, two, three. Church. Church and clothing stall supply. Does that mean that we have hides here? <gasps> we have hides. But we can turn it into something. Tannery. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Highest. So now we're going to turn hides into leather. And then we're going to satisfy this requirement to get level 2 stuff. Enough supply of any of the following materials on the marketplace. Linen, leather, or yarn. <laughs> nice. So let's do this. We also have this army here, but we're missing certain weapons and stuff still. Not enough people in general, but... And your economy suffers. Big time. Uh, we might want to move this logging camp. Now what I don't think about it. I feel like these guys have to go pretty far away to chop, but maybe it's not too far away yet. Yeah, still stolen five planks. Maybe we should get more people here. Like that. We still don't have any cash to even start trading. Rip. Upgrade to small stable. Let's do it. Keep your hearth warm. Okay, next time I play, I'll know how to do this a little bit better. And then we had to place it on top on the stone. It seems like stone was not on top, but uh, the the deposits that are underground you do put on top. So is anyone gonna build this? I wish you could see who's coming to build this. So you can pin stuff. So you know when it's done. I suppose. Or like that. Yeah, I see what's up. By the way, I cannot make any review videos. I'm just supposed to play the game for next week, I think. They don't allow reviews to be posted. <laughs> I'm sure the game's going to get a lot more improvements by the time it releases, but I guess we'll have to wait. Wait and see. So, is anyone going to go and construct this? Here's how long that's going to stay that way. What about this? Someone came in here, almost finished it, and then went back home. Tannery. Okay. They constructed the tannery first, I guess. Uh, let's do that later. New family started moving in. Uh, we need more houses. Housing.
Whoa, you can build three houses like that, all right? Maybe I'm wasting space with this, but we'll see. We need to get rich first, somehow. Market food variety. We have meat, bread, and berries. How do we still have bread? Who's making bread? Yeah, Ed. But it's survival, technically. Construction upgrade complete, small stable. I guess they were building this stuff over here. Someone will come here one day. Or here to finish this. <gasps> Anyways, how are we doing? One plank. It seems like we're using a lot of temp. Wait, 32 them What? Can you go to work? Yeah, bandits are stealing our stuff again. I don't know how to stop them. Well, we have to deploy the militia or something? Oh, they stole firewood. Kill him? Yeah, it seems like you have to go and kill them. If they're next to you. But there's a lot of them. I think we just take the losses for now. People, can you please do something? Waiting, waiting, waiting. For what? Oh, I think I know what's up. We don't have enough oxen. I think that's it. Can I sell this freaking horse? I can't even sell it. I'll be able to sell it if I could establish a trade route, but I can't. So I just have to stop building stuff, I think. Fletching? Yeah, yeah, there is there is archer micro uh, micro in this game. Mining pit. So this is done. Now what? I need to assign people to this. Right. Hello, how you doing? Stone cutters camp. We will lower this. Yeah, we just need more animals. Let's see what this does. Forger. Gathering what? Winter is approaching. Uh oh. Wait, October. There's something with uh, with fields and uh, when you can put uh, the seeds down. It says, farm workers plow the fields as soon as the winter passes, but no later than November. But no later than November. As soon as the winter passes, but no later than November.
So what? Make too much sense. <sighs> but the window is huge. Maybe it's South Pole? You're right, I never thought of that. Farmhouse. Fields and manor lords need to be very large to be effective, but also take long to plow by hand. For a starting village, try a field size about one Morgan. Uh, later, if you want the region to focus on farming, you can consider spending development points to unlock heavy plow. Okay. So remember to check the ground fertility. Some crop types. Are... Okay, okay, okay. Farmhouse employs families who work on the fields. The workforce is distributed proportionally in accordance with the fields that priority level. When the crops are growing, they absorb certain nutrients from the soil, temporarily lowering its fertility and thus diminishing yields over time. I mean, you'll see, you can put it on some crop rotation and stuff like that to make it simpler. To combat this, consider changing crop types or even better, leaving the field uh, fallow for a year. Fine. Generic storage full. Okay, expanded. Any ten planks. It's not full, what do you mean? Oh, this is full because nobody's working. Yeah, I had the The price? No idea what the price is going to be. I'm really curious myself. I don't think it's going to be free. Yeah, I think we need to assign, but we can't click anything here. Permanent livestock assignment. Yes. I think this is what you have to do right away, guys. Right away. Have one ox assigned to the logging camp ASAP. Like, literally the first thing you do in this game. We're so poor. We just need some money. I didn't get money in this game. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have some empty empty houses then. And living space. Uh, 30, 40 bucks? Probably. I would say it's going to be like 40. This sounds like a 40 bucks game. Maybe they're testing the market. If they go for 60, people are going to be mad. But at the same time...
Maybe that's not too wild. After all. Water axes. Fuel stall supply. So why don't they have fuel? I don't get it. That one specifically doesn't have enough. That's weird. See, only this uh, last one is red. Okay. Let's assign some people. So we have, what, 10 families. More than enough space. Hey, is anyone working here? <gasps> They're actually working, guys. Wow. Where are the bulldozers? Look at these poor people. Oh, they're gonna get max tax. They don't know how good they have it right now. Okay, how many planks do we have? Six planks. Come on. Can oh, why is this? Permanent livestock assignment. Yeah. Okay. So, we need, like, a whole herd of cows to run this village, and we have two. Oh, man. This game is so hard. Oh. The first playthrough is pretty painful. Our food supplies are going down, but that's fine because we have nobody working on food. We have these guys hunting, which is fine. Better version of Sop It? I mean, they bring in logs one by one. The logs are literally right here. The problem is that th th there isn't an animal available to transfer the log from here to here. That's the problem. Because this one that is assigned to the logging camp, I don't think it's going to transfer stuff to the saw pit. Because this one is just going to transfer the wood that is being cut to the logging camp, but not from it. Two firewood stalls. All right. Can we expand this? Hey, servers. Yes, uh, we were actively working on preparing everything in the last last week or two. Pretty much everything's here, and uh, looking forward to it. Should be great. As you can see, we just don't have animals to do anything. We need to find a way to get more animals. So what we're going to do is we have 40 of timber. We're just going to assign an animal. We're going to go like that, and we're going to go bam. Here. And this should fix it. Because now this one, our dear friend Jorg, is gonna go and uh, transfer the logs that way. But he might have to be put into the stable first, and then this guy comes in from over there. Right? Like, one of these guys is gonna walk out. Waiting. Let's see. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Reassign family to a different workplace. Oh, yeah. that You can micro them this way. Yeah, that makes sense. Going home waiting. Yeah. This game is hard because the only shared job is construction. And everything else, people are dedicated. Carpenters, loggers, whatever. And if there's something messed up in the supply chain, they just sit idle. Unless they have to do some construction work. But 
construction work is done only by people that are not assigned to anything. So they just go AFK. If they don't have anything to to saw, they just go AFK. If they don't have anything to turn into, I don't know, letter, they just go AFK. They go home. <laughs> so there's no way to maximize uh, their labor if they don't have uh, resources for their main thing. They just don't do anything. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Uh-huh. Anna. But Anna is... Anna is working here, isn't it? No? I wish I could click on this person, but I can't. I want to see what family she belongs to. Okay, someone will be coming now, right? Transporting. Show workplace. Done. This guy's transporting something now. If I pick up the pace, man. What? What the hell? Crafting finally! Someone came in, guys. The saw pit. I've never seen a saw pit in my life, but I suppose it makes sense. Thank you, servers. Hello. It's a lot of stuff, like, our... We had to buy an, uh, another, like, wardrobe. Let's see. Full of stuff. Let alone... Uh, all the stuff for the, for the baby. That you need to get. The car seat, the, the, what is it called? Not the carriage, the, the stroller, like three different parts for it. Adapters, blah, blah. A million things. The chair, the, the rocker, the. <laughs> hey, how do we stop? Okay, that's how we stop. All right, we're working on planks. We have 11 planks. And we have 51 stone. And... Where's the clay? 13 clay. I think we're very close to the manor, guys. Just a few more planks. Maybe proof the entire house? We'll do that later. But yeah. True. True. Oh, man. Are all streaming baby setup? A lot of people do videos on YouTube with uh, baby stuff. I mean, if you think about it, most people will need that at some point. Like, they're going to watch it. So that content is very popular. And it's relatively rare. Ox going back to rest. Okay. 11 planks. Just put on 4x. We just need a few more planks. One, two, how many houses? 13 plus one, and we have 10 families. Yeah, construct a backyard, but it all costs money. On the side, oxen are needed for construction farmhouse. I mean, we have one more somewhere. I don't know where. Like here. It's like they... Did the, did the bandits steal one? 
Matt, how do you get more og? <laughs> I'm so desperate right now. Livestock trading post. What? <laughs> That's the only thing that comes to mind. That must be where I made a mistake, but... Trading post? Can I... How do I get any money? That's the part that I don't understand. How can I trade if I don't have any money? Seriously, I thought of videos, but not live streams. I mean, I'm just saying. People, uh... What I was talking about, like, reviewing strollers and stuff. That's business right there. Reviewing baby gear. Ten planks in here. Twenty-six planks. Guys, 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 guys. Here we go. The manor. It's so small. I thought it was going to be bigger. Where are we going to put it? Like here in the middle? I don't think there's any barter trading in this game. We need to put it somewhere crazy. On top of a hill. There's no hill. Yeah, time for taxes, that's for sure. Actually, let's put it here. Ooh. We did it. Placing roads and walls. 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 Yeah. There's walls in this game. This is complicated. Shift Alt. Okay, this is a work in progress feature. The Castle Planner. Here you can edit the layout of your castle and plan the construction of new wings and towers. <gasps> Wow. So we've only just seen like the, the most bare bones thing in this game, right? I had no clue that you can build a full castle in this game. Look at this. Walls and gates, outer tower, garrison tower, ta- oh. This is the only thing that actually matters. Yeah, this is- Cosmetic only under rework? No. No way. What do you mean? Okay. I mean, I'm sure we can do taxes anyways. Here you can edit the layout of your castle. Okay. When you press commit, the old layout will disappear and the new one will be constructed. For now, the cost is also fixed. I mean... Too far from other modules. I've put this in the wrong place, I guess. Demolish. Okay, so this needs to be somewhere like, I don't know, here, probably. a road <laughs> I 
<laughs> no, not like that, dude. What the hell? Plays road. Ah, come on. Close. What is this? Why do I have a wall now? How do I remove? <laughs> what do I do now? Aha! Uh -huh. Alt. Okay, you hold Alt to delete stuff. Alright. Oh, stressful. Okay, let's do it again. Manner. Click. I don't get what this circle is for, because apparently you can build walls all around the place. But alright. Placing roads. Oh, there's the road. Okay. And now we do walls and gates. Ooh. Oh my god, it cooked. <laughs> Ten planks for this. Close. No, just commit. <laughs> yeah, I'm like it. <laughs> yeah, let's just let's just uh let's just die to bandits, guys. I'd rather that than spend everything that we have on some walls. Guarding only the manor. Uh okay, where's the tax? Wait, wait, wait. Super high extreme priority. Let's go. Uh since we have only one ox, wait, wait. wait. Unassign this one. Now we have two oxes. Oxen. Is oxen the plural of ox? We have 20 guys in the army, by the way. Oxen is plural. Thank you. Awesome. Alright, let's put on... Times four. Where is this going? Is it going here? So the problem is that... Yeah, there's uh, 40 materials that have to be transported with the oxes. Oxen. Oxen. Leaves changing color? Uh, yeah. And it's snowing now, too. I mean, they did the seasonal stuff really well. The game looks great. Especially when you zoom in. It's like the graphics get boosted when you fully zoomed in. I mean, obviously they do. They're doing pretty well. We still have a lot of food left. I also need to build a church. We'll build it around here, I think. Wait, what are they transporting? Oh, they don't have to. Yeah, yeah. They can put the planks on their shoulders and just carry them. That's good. Alright. Oh, no. Look at the snow. Loading 62%. But these guys are pretty happy, I guess. Just church. Church is the only thing that we need for level 2. Uh, yeah. Wooden church. Tavern. Resource stolen by bandits. 12 clay. Awesome. 
Now I have 23 clay. What can we do, right? Oh, we're gonna... There's no berries now. Uh-oh. I hope we can survive. That's why I need multiple sources of food, because stuff can get disrupted. Uh, let's let's double up on the hunting. So the big hunting spot is here. But it's so far away. I can't justify people going there right now. Where we're at here. 4 out of 5, 9 out of 12, 0 out of 15 on stone. Ouch. Can you breed more oxen? I don't know what to do with them. I don't know how it works. Like, where would it be? Pasture? I mean, we can have a pasture, but... Communal oven... Windmill, sheep farm, pasture. I mean, the sheep. You have to import everything. I just think that I messed up with the money, so I cannot sell stuff anymore. Because I cannot establish any of the trade routes. I, I, I need a little bit more cash. That's the problem. See, it takes 18 to establish this trade route. The cheapest one would be... Would be... Like planks and stone. But I don't have enough money for that. It's just because I spent 30 on a freaking horse? It doesn't do anything? Like, it will do stuff once we get this running, but... Yeah. Well, at least we found what's... what's bothering us. Well, look at this approval rate. This is amazing. Our city is growing. Did you go next? No, nah, no. Nah. When once this finishes, we're good. The problem is getting the stone. Is this our stone? Oh, wait. I think he can transport like ten at a time. Who's this guy? Who the hell's this? Is this a mercenary? I can't click on this person. Huh. Interesting. Look at his equipment. He has a pan. He's a he's an outlaw scout. Yeah, I think these guys can transfer ten stone at a time in these uh, carts. So let's see. Transporting stone. Let's see where he goes. Yeah, they need to add the way to just click on someone to track them or stuff. Uh, uh, not that way, dude. 70 stone. So who's gonna transfer the stone? Fetching water. Ah, oh, jeez. Gathering. Let's assign more people to this. It seems like there's not enough people in the storehouse. And we need to upgrade it too. Five. Okay, let's do that. Okay, two out of 15. Weird. Oh my god, they're carrying stone by hand. 
Or maybe not. Maybe there's something else. Wait, there's bows and arrows? Wait. Am I seeing this correctly? Where did I get a bow? Oh, maybe he's a hunter. Oh, he's a hunter. Uh, traveling merchant. Yeah, that could be it. The game did mention that. So you don't have bows unless you're, you're a hunter. Granary. The meat just disappears. 12 families. Not bad. Do a few more homes, maybe. Yes, this is a very early game. But the game isn't finished yet, so... Road obstructed? What road is obstructed? King's Landing, Minas Tirith. We'll see how much you can uh, do in this game. It's hard to say. It's still a little bit unexplored. Large storehouse. Uh, two more of this. Wait, wait, they transferred more planks than we need? What happened there? Nothing you see every day. All right. Still need more stone. This guy's... No, he's not carrying. Republic flag? What do you mean exactly? The Dubrovnik Republic? Is that the one? Uh, what do you mean same location? Oh, transporting stone, finally. There we go. Look at him. No, no, it's not a real world map. I just put that thing myself. You can upload your own custom uh, banner. Uh, coat of arms. Yeah. Ooh, large storehouse. Okay, the stone is almost in, guys. I can't believe that they're using their hands to do this. I guess it's because these guys are not assigned. Yeah, they're unassigned. Uh, so the guys from the storage, they're the only ones that use handcarts, from what, uh, what I understand. So that's the benefit of having people do only storage. Because they use handcarts and they can carry uh, up to 10 of something. Well, the rest of these peasants just uh, do it one by one. Yeah, stuff takes a while in this game. But it does seem like uh, we're very satisfied with how things are going. I think we can try to do a hunting ground here. I don't know. Hey, why is this road wider than this one?
Man, Romans had uh, almost asphalt roads, and uh, we only used dirt roads in the medieval age. How advanced. <gasps> We're building the manor. We're building it, guys. There's only one stone missing. There we go. This is how we get the cash flow. Finally, I think. Because if we don't, I'm just going to ult that for it, dude. Yeah, why does the satisfaction just go down all of a sudden? Did we run out of food? Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Uh -huh. Policy is unlocked. Click on the taxes tab. <laughs> After selecting your manor to set level of taxation. Taxes can boost your treasury and influence at the cost of making your population poorer. Poorer? It's all for the greater good, guys. Open the castle planner. No. Taxes. Land tax. Mm, percent of surplus food that is given to the church in return for influence. No, no, no. Uh, oh. Oh, no, no. 30%? Collected from regional wealth for every transaction with a visiting traveling merchant. Minus. Can't go in minus. Oh. oh, these are servants. That work here. That's a 20%. I just don't want it, this to go below 50%. Because we need to peep, we need people to keep moving in. Yeah, we're gonna die. We're gonna run out of food very soon. Some resources disappear when it's getting cold and repair again in the... Yeah, so what does this mean? Should we just remove people, I guess? Oh, is this being built finally? Hell yeah. Farmhouse. Last in priority, so... Makes sense. What about this? Generic storage full. Ah. Here's about that. Construction reserve, let's keep 40 or something like that. 50. Can you do like control click and stuff? Yeah, you can. Okay, shift left click to get 10 instead of one increment. All right. Uh, 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 uh. Policies. Wild animals on rich deposits or breed, breed, breed. Twice as fast. Cost of 50% reduced yields from crops. Okay. Quick fasting. Citizens skip every fifth meal, reduces food consumption, decreases approval. I mean, this is healthy. I think I think we should we should do it. Old, old town. We're gonna have to make Mokosht. The hood where I uh, grew up in Dubrovnik. Here. Is 
There's a horse waiting in there. Permanent livestock assignment. But I don't get it. No, that's not good. Because that assigns... Uh, livestock is not a horse, apparently. It's just oxen. Man, this is still not built. Are you kidding me? I queued this up an hour ago. Uh, this is a bug. This is surely not correct, because we have half-empty stables everywhere. Yeah. I think what they're missing is, uh, saying on the, on the tooltips what exactly an ox does and what exactly a horse does. So, the horse is more expensive, you're thinking, oh, it's better than an ox, but no, the, the horse is only for trading. Seems... Fuel reserves. Taxes. So when are we going to collect the taxes? Monthly taxation. 20% of what? Land tax? What is that going to give us per month? What, 20% of 50 people? Or how does it work? So how exactly do we have 50 when it says 30 and 50? Confused. All right, let's build a church if we can. We can't. We need 20 planks. 20 planks? Why do we not have 20 planks? 11 planks. Oh, this says what it accepts and what it doesn't accept. Connect the road network. Ah, you can limit the work area. So it doesn't collect everything from the whole map. February, by the way. Can we move to next month so we get some stuff? We can make it 30%, man. People are very happy. They don't know that we're about to all die because there's no food, but yeah. I have no clue what people are doing. Nothing is being built. Be so stolen by bandits, whatever. Food stall. Why not a food stall when we have no food? <laughs> the stalls are empty. There's some bread. I don't get how we still have bread. Nobody's using it. The graphics look very good, yeah. I guess this is as far as you can push it without seriously hurting the performance. The game runs really well. I constantly have 100 plus FPS. I don't think it's ever been lower than 100 FPS. I don't see it, but just how I feel it. Uh, okay, maybe it is a little bit lower than 100 when you're uh, fast forwarding. Servants. So these guys are servants. Residing families. Another bandit camp? There's one here, one here, and one here. I really don't want to go and fight because we're all going to die. Do 
Okay, we need to remove people from assignments, it seems. Like these guys. Uh, we probably have enough stone. For now. Ooh, 20 planks. Alright, let's do a church. Ooh, that's huge. I guess we can do it here. Close to the manor. I think that makes sense. Right? So we can do level 2 stuff very soon. So, houses. Here's how it works. You have these requirements that you need to fulfill in order to be able to construct a level 2 house. And you need two to level 2 houses. It needs a consolidated people management screen. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, make sure you put that right. It needs something like that. I don't see a button like that. Anyways, uh, if we upgrade two houses to level two, then we go from small village to medium village. Then we get another development point. Uh, but that part of the game isn't really that well. I, I mean, it's not finished. Because if you see here, like half of the stuff is just locked in early access, work in progress, locked in early access. Work areas empty. Yeah. So I think the problem was that we didn't have any uh, free guys to go and construct stuff. No new message. Raiders. Track their movement. Prepare for the attack. We'll be ready. I don't know what I just clicked. Did I click we'll be ready? I don't know. Raiders? Great point. Cheap goods for import. Good value to export. I'm a little bit confused. Where are we anyway? It's hard to see your village sometimes. So I think we're gonna need another marketplace, like down here or something. We still didn't get any money. Let's put on 4x so we advance through the months. Oh, 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 okay. Pasture, stable, people, advanced, trade, oxen. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna pause the game right now. We used to have three dollars, now we have two. After the taxes. And the approval rate has gone down tremendously. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, 
forger. Right. Has this been finished? I have no clue how to play this game, guys. I'm just so lost. I also can't find my village in the snow. We have five months of food left over. I don't get what happened here. We get no positive stuff anymore? Why not? Look at this food variety. They all have three foods to eat. Letter. Fuel. What's the problem? What, they're only stressed about taxation? That's it? I don't get it. Basically, everyone is busy right now. We don't have enough families. Let's cut the timber. Let's cut the firewood. Could be supplied still if nobody is working there? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how that how that works. Firewood stall abandoned. Oh, this one isn't abandoned. Oh, they okay, okay. So the the storage guys can also set up the stalls for anything that is needed. So that's how it works. Okay, that makes sense. So the storage has to always be manned, pretty much. Taking the planks. Alright. They're, they're all taking the planks one by one. Because these guys aren't assigned. Transporting clay. Okay. Oh, this is the church. Yeah, they just started doing that. Okay. Uh, here we're gonna do crop rotation. Wheat. Wheat fallow wheat. You gonna need someone here. I would say 30%. Oh, look at that. They're working. They're plowing the field. many people policies available what does it mean policies available um we go here yeah but we don't need that production so this is empty. This isn't finished. This isn't finished either. This technically isn't finished either. So this uh, higher level stuff isn't finished yet. But it's nice is that the game works. There are no bugs to be seen like so far. That's good. Just need this church. 
I still don't know how to make money. Regional wealth. Amount of money owned by villagers from this region. Oh. Or converted to treasury. This is the money owned by villagers. And what's treasury? Public order. Two on assigned. Oh, these are these are very important too. I don't get what treasury is exactly. Next harvest in 161 days. Enemy units spotted. Oh boy. Oh boy. Brigands light mercenary infantry. So where are these guys going? Are they going to attack the mercenaries? Oh, yeah, the mercenaries. I mean, I didn't hire them. The yellow, no, the, the yellow guy hired them. Huh. 69% effectiveness. And what is this other stuff? Energy and some kind of flag. Not sure what exactly that would mean. Maybe like... Will to fight? This is the first fight that we're seeing, guys. These like fights take a while. Yeah, they just they just went in. Where's the flanking? This is kind of flanking maneuver, dude. Okay, they're running now. They're just gonna let them go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess that's how it works. Not sure what to uh, make of that, but at least they didn't attack us, right? Break area is empty. Ah, that's old. Don't worry about that. Oh, I think we can slam on the taxes, but man, regional wealth. <sighs> ah, these concepts are so weird. So this treasury, your personal money, usually collected from taxes, can be used for diplomacy, hiring retinue, what's retinue, and mercenary, as well as settling a new region. Build a manor to enable taxation in any control region. No, not taxes. How do we make money? Seriously. Export price, import price. Import. Three. Import price. But can we go negative? Advisors. Wait, you can get mules? What the hell? What do mules do?
Field priority, plowing, sowing, crop, harvest, crop growth. If I only knew how to make money, we would be so much further ahead. Like, obviously, you're supposed to trade. But. Export. Establish a trade route. I think you don't have to establish a trade route to trade. I think that's how we got the three three dollars. I think we just need someone assigned here, but uh my god. Thanks, timber stone tools. Move this one. Forger hut. We just don't have enough people again. I don't think we need the trade route. Let me see what else we can sell. Yeah, we sold like one. What the hell? Fire broke out. Hey, hey. hurry! Right on the freaking trading post. I just figured out how to make money and BAM! <laughs> it's rubble? Come on, man. The revenue is advisors and assistants. That's interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys. Not the best idea, I would say. Fire hazard, huh? I mean, fire hazard... Fire in general, in the medieval age, it was the biggest enemy of cities. Like, period. It was worse than the plague, I think. Like, most of the cities got burned down at least once every, like, a hundred years. Almost to the ground. Wow, we need to do another trading post. Dad. Highest priority. Anyways. Um, I need to read up on trade. Uh, let me see here. Economy. Sword surplus. Okay. Great points. Points at the edge of the playable game area that may become a destination of trade. They represent trade that flows to and from lands far away, and imports going through them are cost extra 10 regional wealth. I still don't really get it. But I... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Enables trading with the visiting traveling merchants. 
trade points and trade posts in other regions. Regional wealth is the currency used for trade. When employed, one family members travels to nearest possible destination to conduct trade, while other family members help manage the inventory. If needed, assign families will automatically set up stalls on Marketplace to sell imported goods. Okay, I mean, this is the most important building in the game, and I just didn't use it at all. It's literally the most important building in the game. Can we claim stuff? What if I clicked on this and said claim with influence? Okay, we need 1,000 influence. I don't know what the king favors is. So, we have 250. Hey, Shaka, what's up? Yeah, anyway. People are still working here? I'm pretty sure we have enough clay. Yeah. Wait, that took one ox for this. You can see there's, there's certain things in the game that are still a work in progress. Yeah, import price. We just don't have enough money. So you can turn... So you, you have two types of money. Actual money and like influence money. Influence money is up here. Actual money is here. And you can turn actual into influence. But not the other way around. Annual royal tax. This field is too big, I think. It has an interesting early game, this game. It's much harder than in other games because you're so limited in what you can do at one time. Usually in other games, you make a building and you keep making that resource from that building. Here, you make a building, you have to assign one of the like four or five families they have to do that and nothing else. Then you have to swap them around because you, you, you need a lot of things, but you don't have enough families to do that. You really need to micromanage this all the time. Yeah, so forget tax, I guess. Alright, we're back here. What is this? Scanning? Alright. Permanent livestock assignment. We don't have to. Sell stone. Ah, okay, we assigned the horse, finally. Lorenz. Alright. And now we want to sell... Let's say we want to sell clay. Because... Desired surplus. Export. That's still one per... So I sell it for, sell stuff for two and buy it for 12. <laughs> this game is a scam. Rain over here as well. Oof. I think I know what's up, guys. I think I understand finally. So a, a trade route. When you establish a trade route, what happens is instead of your guys doing the trades, you're going to have some merchant come in. So technically, if you buy a trade route, you free up one worker. Not a family, I guess, but well, technically a whole family gets freed up for that specific resource.
Okay, now understand. Firewood. Export. No. Letter. So, but if you have major things, then you need an actual trade route. Yeah, major needs a trade route. You cannot do it without. Oh, you can establish a trade route for firewood for two. That's interesting. So I guess you need to scroll through this and just see what's needed more. I don't know if this is fixed or not, but... And technically, we could sell the planks. If they go over 30, we can sell them. I don't know how this is going to work. Trading. Someone is trading. Oh, look at that. Um, like, really? Dude? It just goes through the woods alone. Seems like you cannot click on the traders. Again, trader trading. We don't know what, but he's trading. Other ruler army was sighted. Hey, 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 hey what the hell, guys? <laughs> That's our territory. What is going on? We don't have uh, an army that can handle that, I think. Guys, this game is hard. Your first playthrough, you're going to suffer. At least it's hard when you have no clue what you're doing, like I didn't have. Now I do. Yes, Mick. Exactly. Let's just see if we can finally get some money. That would be amazing. Oh, did they finally plow the whole field? It's April. It might just make it. I need to sow it. I guess that's faster. That's 4x speed. These guys are being useless. These servants here. here. You can't really read because of my camera, but... Trade tax is collected from regional wealth for every transaction with a visiting traveling merchant. I think that's, that's good. Mercenary tax, amount raised from regional wealth to cover hiring of mercenary companies. Won't cause a loss of approval as long as mercenaries are actually employed. Wait, where can I see the mercenaries that are offered? I know there's a screen for mercenaries. Need silver. Dear Outlaws. <laughs> okay, so this part hasn't been really thought through all that much. There's a major difference in my... Uh, okay, I read that one. Never mind. Read every message. Oh, look at them. Sewing. Like I said, that should go faster, 
<laughs> that looks great. Berries so plump and juicy, you'll want to eat them by the bush. Yeah, we have a bunch of space for more families. It's just that the approval rate went down because of the taxes. Uh, you got to try a few things, right? To learn. Uh, is the church done? Wait, what happened to the church? It never got all the stone because it's on medium priority. <laughs> I forgot about it, guys. <laughs> I thought it was going to get built. But it didn't. Low priority and nobody working on it, so... At least we got food. Uh, let's take a look at food. So we have... Yeah, we have too many berries again. We can just stop this for now. We still haven't made any cash, but... Oh, transporting berries? Okay, okay. Did, did we get cash for that now? Why didn't we get anything, man? Uh, he's trading now. Transporting. Matt, you're going on foot. Um. <laughs> Our whole community depends on this guy and what he can make from his small basket on his back. Yeah. Our whole community depends on him. Summer's coming soon, and soon the beating sun. Look, look, look where it has to go from. Uh, you gotta think it can fight, hopefully. The first time we tried to trade, we got hit by lightning and this burned down. That one great. Okay, oh, okay, so look at this. 54 berries and 23 stone inside a trading post? I just don't know how much stuff they can carry. That one single guy, don't tell me that he he has like one berry in the basket. That we're gonna get three coins when he gets back. Please don't tell me that. Add more livestock? I would, but no cash. Since the start of the game, I bought a horse. I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't realize that I didn't need a trading post, a trading route to start trading. Um, yeah. That's pretty rough. <laughs> but now I know. And berries are pretty good. Look at that. Three export price. Are these guys done? Okay, the crop is growing now. What are they doing? What exactly are they sowing? Going home. Oh, it's 98%. Okay. We're gonna get a lot of crop. Fast forward, follow the berry seller. Let's do that. Who was it? Jacob? Why did it cut the cam? By the way, you can also see stuff with the tab. You can see who's doing what. Or who needs what. Which is also very nice. Like, you're going to be using a lot. Uh, th this layout, you're going to be using a lot later. You just hold tab. So it's a little bit gamified, but, I mean, why not? Okay, 
Okay, Jacob. Oh my god. He has to walk that way too? Like outside of the map? Oh no, no, no. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> he has to go all the way outside of the map to the other city. Build more direct roads? I mean... It's pretty direct. Uh, by the way, I just realized not enough stable space. Oh, we got 14 cash. I think it was from this... Uh, with 14, that means that we sold berries and stoners. 14... Yeah, I don't know. Why are these two called the same? Yeah, Jacob is gone. Maybe it was this guy that sold stuff. Anyways, we'll see. You don't have to get used to the fact that everything is super slow in this game. Church status? Church is... Done. We need to employ a family. People hanging out at the church. Praying, waiting, waiting. Grave digger. Church bell sound. Sounds more like it. I think we can upgrade stuff now. Like to level two. Look at this. Let's upgrade a big plot to level two if we can. Requirements not men met. Let's stall supply. Well, this one we can upgrade to level two. But I want to upgrade a big one. Two types of food. These guys even doing anything? Like up here. Yeah, that's very inefficient, but maybe we can uh, put a storage up there, but then we have to dedicate someone on the storage, which kind of kill defeats the purpose. Randall, thank you for 10 months. Why is everything so laggy? Is it laggy for you two guys on stream? Like you kind of bugged out, right? Thanks, Randall. <gasps> 47? Not for me. I think it's just OBS. Chicken coo. Whoa. I don't see if it got an upgrade. These guys are lacking bread. Alright, let's upgrade this to level 2. Forest trading post? Apparently I just spent some money on something. Where did the money disappear? Seriously. We had 47, I had 27. Did I spend it on upgrading? It's all good, Randall. Thank you for all the support. They generate regional wealth per family per month. Does it say how many families live here? It does, two.
Berries, meat, bread, eggs, vegetables, apples. Okay, let's do it this way. What? Money is gone. I know why. I know why. I think we automatically bought oxen. Uh, okay. And then we bought too many. Import horses. Let's do three. No, it's fine. We need the oxen anyway. Um, we need them for this. Uh, okay, maybe not for this. Or... This. I, no, you can only breed sheep from what I can tell. Okay, since we're going to have this yield, we are going to have to do a windmill. A windmill and a, an oven. Wow, look at that, a windmill. Nice. Percentage of possibility for weather destruction? Yes. Yes. We got hit by lightning earlier. Oh, we got a development point, guys. Okay, so... We can get hides and doubles the amount of meat harvested by hunters and butchers and from goat pens. I mean, technically, that's uh, that's nice, but workers collect honey. Every region can sustain up to two apiaries. Is that how you pronounce it? Apiary? How come I never heard that word before? Placing more will not increase the yields. Charcoal burning. Armor making. Okay, thank you. Establishing a new trade route always costs a maximum 25 regional wealth. Removes the tariff from pouring imports, effectively reducing our import prices by 10. Oh. Oh. Oh, we need to go this way. Bees open up only advanced beekeeping, which is wax. But like this, better deals. Like we could start importing everything. Let's do it this way. We just want to see if that works. I feel like that's super OP. To upgrade the church, we need 10 of that yellow stuff. Roof tiles. I have no clue how to make roof tiles. Upgrade to large granary. We have no... No nothing. Roof tiles. Off it. Yeah, we need more timber. We hacked and slashed all the stuff here. Uh, so fertility, this is why we came here. Okay, okay. Rye, Mel, work in progress. Okay, we're gonna cut these trees then, like deeper in. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a logging camp. Wait, we can, we can relocate it. Free relocation.
All right. A lot of supplies left over there, but... Ruka 66. 66, we're already there. Wow. Thank you very much. What about the army on your land? What army? I don't see no army. I don't know where they're at. By the way, guys, let's appreciate for a moment how beautiful this game is. And the church is kind of in the shade, so it makes it look a little bit worse, but... Firewood. Firewood. Take a look at this. This is on max details with the LSS. But that lowers it a little bit, maybe. But uh, everything looks pretty nice. Like, it's not blurry with the current settings. Let me just show you the settings. Maybe, maybe you can copy it once you get it. So, DLSS on uh, quality. Dynamic DLSS on. I don't know if it matters if it's dynamic or not. Ethan con sharpening medium. And everything else is just full. All right. Auto save allowance on this. The multiple control groups. You can have control groups with army. Story pop ups. Reaction when enemy spot is slowed down. Cosmetic night and day cycle. I didn't see night and day yet. Maybe we could see that. Let's get on my TV. Hell yeah. Is this game like AOE? No, no, no. This is a city builder survival. I don't know. How would you, how you would put it? New mercenary companies available. You know, oven. So, how do I get the mercenaries? Like, I click on this, but. Yeah, this is like settlers. Yeah, on steroids. Another good one. Like, <laughs> pretty much. It's very similar to settlers. Where's my mouse? Okay, the controls just went really weird. Alright. Hey, Bon. The waiting? We're almost done with the wait. Maybe by the end of the month. A lot of work has been done. We're basically ready, so that's good. Anyways, we're looking good, guys. Uh, 22 families, 22 living space. Whoa! Okay. Can we expand anything? Oh, this one is empty. Table space. Poor quality, he said. Impossible. Luckily, not really. I'm dodging that as much as I can. Uh, actually, I feel like that. What What is it looking for? What the hell? Stable space. Maybe this one didn't come in yet. Albrecht. Ah, it didn't come in yet. He's just coming in now. The new horse. Alright, so from here on out, we should have more money. We could import the roof tiles. I just don't know. Uh, I think we need to make artisan buildings here. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. 
Tailor's Workshop. Gambesons. They make clothes, cloaks, gambesons. Yeah, I mean, I totally messed this up, guys. So how you should do this, you should import animals, export stone, planks, stuff like that. And then every house has to have a garden, chicken coo, goat shed, an orchard, blah, blah, blah. That's how you do it. Not the way I did it. No. Production of shoes. Because now we're eating two types of food. And we have no money and we have no animals. Instead of eating six types of, types of food and having a constant influx of money. And having as many animals as we can handle. So it's just bad. Like, it's just bad what I did. But it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. But uh, now I understand. Anyways, uh, let's take a look at the grain, guys. 55 days until the first yield. I wonder how much we get from this. Policies available. I know, but none of these are good. Yeah, so these policies are not the most useful. Not a, not right now, at least. Maybe you can have this between the crop seasons or something. So how do we get rid of all these broken trees? Transporting timber. Yeah, I wish I knew where these people were going. I think that info is critical. Like, that you can click on this guy and see where he's going. Anyways, let's get more housing. Mm, maybe we should make a new quarter. Like, this way. Oh, that's nice. You can click this. Nice. Did you play the demo? No, I didn't. RTS and Settlers? Yes, like Settlers and uh, Total War. Put on 4x. Like playing on slow speed just doesn't make too much sense. Oh my god, we need the cash, guys. We need the cash badly. Tavern. We built the windmill and the oven. Industry. Oh. We didn't even start this. Clay into clay tiles. Refuel once per month. Er. This is an iron deposit. I wonder where we're going to start this new artisan thing. Maybe like down here. Twenty two families. We just need to keep building houses. Like, you should always have empty houses. That's the whole point. Battery. So, need another marketplace. Like around here, probably. 
Mm. Cosmetic. There's some cosmetic stuff. Trading posts. Okay. Okay. Still haven't done the pasture sheep farm. Anyways, let's do the marketplace. Big one. I'm gonna do one here, right in front of the castle, I guess. Yeah, you really can't see anything, but this is because this is like nighttime. So we can turn this off. For the stream, it's really not that great to have this on, I think. Uh, so we're gonna turn this off. Because it's already hard enough to see in the rain at 4x speed. Because if you see, the rain gets faster at 4x, so it makes it even harder to see at a 12x. I feel like they might have to adjust it at 12x. What are the smaller builders that tag along when you build houses? The chicken coop? Yeah, that's potential to build it. Because if you build a small house, there's sometimes there's not, not enough place. Space to uh, build the attachments. So, just double check. So this is our premium house. So we're gonna have it. Ooh, we got some cash. Let's do. Uh, let's do a chicken coop. How about that? Twenty three families and we have three level two families. <laughs> level two. Oh, they're dressed differently? Wow. Maybe they're not. Or maybe they are. It's very important to have on assigned families because they do construction. I don't know what mules are for. I'm gonna import one mule. I don't know what they're for. Lambs, sheep. So sheep uh, can multiply with a policy uh, or with the with the uh, one of the developments, but we don't have that. Albrecht. Why is this guy here? We want him here. Oh, he is. Here. Okay, he's stationed here, but he works here. The horse. But I suppose if we assign one more family, that will still be okay. Okay, the wheat is going to get harvested. Soon. 17 days. Uh, in Settlers, you could set reminders. Like, you would click a little clock. And it would set a reminder, like, remind me in 10 minutes, remind me in 30 minutes, whatever. 
I think we, they need something like that here. What the hell is this? Nine days. Another bandit camp. So far from us. Like, the bandits stopped stealing from us. It seems like uh, the yellow player cleared out all the bandits. Yeah. We're still working with basically nothing. His army is here. Well, it's, it's in his place. We don't see his city. What is this? These are just roads. So, it's a little bit weird. So, there, there's an opponent here, but... There's nothing built. Black and white? Yeah. <gasps> days left to harvest? <gasps> no! Wait, days left? Wait, no, 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 no. Wait. Do I have seven days left to harvest? Or is it seven days until I can start harvesting? I guess it's until I can start harvesting. So we're good then. Are we building stuff? Clay furnace is built. Requires refueling. The music got kind of hype. It's weird when you click escape, something weird happens. Okay, it's September. Let's get people working here. Are we gonna harvest this? Oh, nice. Good stuff. This doesn't look like much. I must say. I wonder how much we got. Like 30? Burned a field. Twenty in storage. Really not a lot. I expected a little bit more, I must say. You know, oven, windmill.
Okay, so we're lacking timber again, it seems. Because I didn't put anyone in the logging camp. Genius. like there's some stuff missing here. I guess we cannot see inside, unfortunately. There's the flour. And then I guess we're baking the bread. You really don't get much from this, do you? Uh, okay, what if we do another field? Like, you're... And we do it again. By the way, what are the requirements for level 3? We need a tavern. They need a, at least a small stone church. Three types of food. And shoes, clothes, or cloaks. That's for level 3. We got cash again, by the way. We can do vegetables now, probably. But... Is this a higher level one? Maybe we could do something else. Here's tool side arms. There's a lot going on. We got 68 people, by the way. Look at them uh, all running around. Uh oh I just noticed. We have no food. Nor fuel. Uh, uh, about that. does this start again? Oh, I messed up. So this year it's fallow. How the music just went completely crazy all of a sudden. Resolve the claim on the battlefield? What is this? Well, something is being claimed right now. This down here. Yellow is claiming it. The edge was 65. Pretty much, o2 right? Has had a big upgrade since Freezy last Thanks, Tia. How you doing? Oh my god, I get lost on this map so often. Like, I don't even know how to continue. Oh, you just have to zoom in. Uh... Resolve the claim on the back. I have nothing to resolve the claim with. 
I cannot fight yet. It's just not fair. Like, you have 60 people total, including women. Because only men go to, to the battle. And he has a standing army of 100. And you have some, like, bad spears and, and shields and nothing else. No armor, no anything. Dude, this chicken coop. Couldn't have done that, but okay. Did they have a stall somewhere? He's inside the house. Look at these German houses. You'll not find finer ways anywhere else. Negotiate, use King's favor, resolve the claim on the battlefield. Yeah, I wonder what the end game looks like. The cutter's launch. Uh sign someone. We're gonna die. These hunters don't do anything. Yes, TS. It's gonna come out in uh, two weeks. Unfortunately for a lot of people. Wait, there's a lot of flour here? Why are we not baking bread? Where is our bakery? Communal oven. We need more people here, apparently. Nobody's getting the goods to the right spot. Okay, transporting bread. Okay. Uh, it seems like the... This will be a hard winter. We need to forage. We just don't have enough people currently. Yeah, yeah. So it needs a button, like see everyone, what they're doing or their families and just assign people or, or move them. Like we don't need anyone there. We, I mean, kind of don't, kind of do need. Can upgrade the church. Tannery, we need that, kind of. Cars Lodge, we definitely do. We need these guys, and then those guys. We need everyone. What the hell? Okay, we don't... Oh, we don't need this guy in the windmill. Refueled. It's hard to... It's, it's, this is a worker management game where it's very, very, very hard to optimize it fully. Uh... Timber, we can cut one. Yeah, you need to constantly keep clicking. It's just what it is. So, we could build our castle here, but... Like, walls and gates and stuff. 
But like what for? Right now, there's no use for that, I would say. But, you know, it's good that this is here. Order another ox. We have 25 cash again. You can probably buy some food or something. Or establish a trade route at least. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We could establish a trade route for planks. They sell for two. Or roof tiles. Okay, for roof tiles. They sell for eight. We're just gonna have to assign someone to clay again. That visited Germany only? Yeah, this is very Germanic. German. Like, from the start. It feels very German. Bread, eggs. Wait, so, so who's doing eggs? This one? Trading... Dogs good for sale. On oh, the storage. All right. I give him the guy looks German. It looks like Robin Hood though. Unassigned family is needed for construction work. Yeah, we don't have a single unassigned family. I don't know why people stopped uh, moving in. We have 25 <laughs> families. But are you telling me that... Wait. 25? But I think two families are in the manor doing nothing? And then one is in the church? Or something like that. Because we have two families here that are waiting. They're servants. I don't get what they do. They just sit around. They do nothing. So what is the point? Maybe I've built this manor too early. Although they did automatically move in, so... I'm not entirely sure what's happening here. Depending on the game so far, I think it's pretty good. I, it's not finished, though. Like, it's far from finished. But it looks great. The The immersion is definitely there. Like, look at the details. And everything's rendered in, full, in, in real time. Like, I don't, I don't even get how this works. I guess this is the full power of uh, the Unreal Engine. Right. I can zoom in on the cow. The cow doesn't look that bad. Can smell. <laughs> look at them. There's so many details. I guess this is the first game where Unreal Engine really paid off and how well it runs. Like, on 1x speed, on normal speed, I probably have like 140 FPS or something. We'll need to stock more food with a growing population. Check market. It isn't set too low. It probably is. I'm trying to make as much money as possible, but it's not really going that well. But yeah. It's only this that we're selling. The berries. Okay, we're gonna start exporting clay. 
because we are doing these tiles, export roof tiles. Follow merchant. Oh, he just came in. Uh, take all of them. Do something. Come on. He's still in here. Take them all. Come on. This is very good. Once you start establishing these uh, trade routes, plus eight. We just got plus eight. He took one. Take some more. Come on, man. Are you kidding me? Is this just going to take one? Just for it to pay off, it's going to take probably like a full year. Please take some more. How much if if I do a trade route for stone, like how many stones would one guy take? Red is minus one. Yeah, I just took one. Unbelievable guy. Do, 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 do. Nice. By the way, why do I have this vignetting effect right now? It looks weird. Like I'm looking through a lens. Yeah, uh, food is good, but the fuel isn't. This still isn't built, or it is. No, it's not. Mining pit. Some people in the pit. Maybe I was a little bit late for this, but whatever. Oh, uh, where's that workshop down here? Fuel reserves. I mean, it's cool the, the how the whole game functions and like these these families on assigned families. By the way, nobody's moving in anymore for some reason. I don't know why we didn't get any new families. Seventy-eight percent. Look at this. Now went down due to something. Oh, finally someone moved in. Nice. I mean, technically you could play this game on 12x speed. Once you're good, like you just hold it on 12x. I hope that the game runs fine. I do think it will run fine. Total unassigned. Let's assign an ox here. Ox here. Ox. Can we assign it to this? No. I think we need the storage like right here.
By the way, how's the church progressing? Oh, it's already a small stone. No, it's not. Transported goods. We didn't have anyone transporting stuff, so... This hasn't even moved. Pitching post. I mean, I'll make another one because it's asking me. Tavern. Make a tavern. Iron ore into iron slabs. Like something down here. Wool berries into dyes. I don't know what the, the dyes are for. Okay, so that's three families. Grow herbs. Upgrade. We got some cash again. Nice. It, we, we could try the sheep now, because we haven't even tested that yet. Mm, sheep farm. Wait, let's just first see the fertility. Perfect spot. Yeah, we're gonna most likely have to make... Oh, 64. What? Must be that traveling merchant, dude. I'm gonna assign a few more guys to the clay. Apparently that's a good... Good deal. Right, now we're building... Vegetable garden, goat shed. We have cash to play with, finally. Oh, the church is being built. Look at that. Not that small anymore, I must say. Plains Windows Tell Install is completely solved with my crashing issues. If anyone's considering it, it is helpful and is very easy these days. I mean, yeah, stuff like that can help, but it's so hard to figure out where you're supposed to do sometimes, right? We are still not doing great on fuel. So we're just going to do this. You tried everything? Yeah. I hear you. We need stone. 30 families. Everything's full, damn. Yeah, this game on 12x is a different game. What we've played so far. Ah, okay. Uh, 
there, there's a few things that I didn't consider yet. Wait, no, never mind. So family is always what three members, like no matter what. Bandit camp, army, whatever. Okay, now you have to remove people from berries. Apparently, they've already moved. This is also useless, it seems. I don't know how we're going to make it through the winter. Well, technically, we have food for four months. I guess it's the, the carrots and stuff, the vegetables. <laughs> Oh, there we go. The church is uh, three stone away. Tavern has not been built yet. I built almost every building there is. Okay, so now we need to import some livestock. For that, we go here. Oh my god, one sheep is two? Uh, 30, uh, and these are 20. Okay. Situation with food. Where do we check that? Can we make a second market somewhere? Yeah, there is one here. Good variety. Berries, meat, eggs. Basically no vegetables. Clothing, 81%. I don't know how these people got their clothing, but... Yeah, where did they get the shoes and cloaks and everything? Okay, this is messed up now, because we have a giant family, well, actually two families, they're all going to be making shoes. I'm not sure I like that. Uh-oh, food is going down. Raiders, I can now. Uh, the game seems very forgiving with these settings currently. By the way, this seems like a bug, honestly. At this point, I really think this is a bug. Because there's no animal here. one roof tiles what am i doing 
We have no crops. 22 letter, 134 clay. Bloomery. Yeah, I see now what the problem is. You kind of need this development, the charcoal burning, because making enough firewood is very demanding. You keep having to move your, uh, your firewood building. The woodcutter's lodge. So let's just relocate it. But our nice village is uh, progressing really well, guys. So this is what? Four hours of gameplay from scratch. You could probably get here in uh, like an hour. If you're experienced. There's one more stone missing. Single one. This is highest priority and nobody's bringing the stone in. Individual people, do they have stats? No. No. Doesn't work like that. Cobbler? What do you mean by cobbler? Not sure I understand. Construction upgrade, small church. So this should boost the uh, significantly. Tavern finished as well. Okay, uh, we can import stuff. Artisan workshops can sometimes produce multiple types of goods to select what good it's produced. Check general tab and building. General tab in the building panel. You'll not find finer wares anywhere else. Uh, like this? I mean, they just make shoes. Upgrades level three. Level three, uh, burgage? Do you, do you call this, do you, do you pronounce this as burgage? Two regional wealth per family per month. Has living space for one extra family. You'll not find finer wares anywhere else. Residential requirements. Tavern including stall supply. We're going to be able to do level three now. Let's import ale. Well, let's just see if we can do it. Beer. Commodities like ale. 18 per. That's too much. It's going to get slashed uh, with the new upgrade. Oh, we need five level... Uh, okay, five level twos. That's not too hard. Let's do that. Upgrade to level two. Upgrade to level two. What else can we upgrade? Everyone's complaining about the food, it seems. It's not easy to upgrade to level 2. At least the types of food supplied. Why is nobody making a marketplace here? There's just not enough food. 
Oh my god, two months? We're all dead. Uh, we need to find some workers somewhere. I guess we have too much clay. Don't cutter. Now we need them. Yeah, there's like literally nothing, guys. There's nothing left. This here is being hunted. We may have to move down here and create a, like a new civilization. I wonder how it works in multiple villages. Do we need to claim it with influence. We don't have influence. Tools will make your people happier. Yeah. Food stall. Let's see. Uh huh. This one I can upgrade to level two. Okay. There we go. Nice. We have money, by the way. Order a new horse. Sure. We got some sheep as well. Yeah, look at him. Is that wool? It's wool. We're getting a few more sheep. So, so you can use that. You can sheep for wool. Can you slaughter them? I don't think there's a way to do that. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe. But I, I don't see any mechanic come here. On, come on. Feast your eyes on our By the way, what are tools for? I, st I had 10 tools since the start, so... Maybe I missed something. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm turning clay into roof tiles and we're selling that. That's our main profit, from what I can tell. If you look at this here, the so export roof tiles. Oh well, man, it's just... It's just not enough. We need to export them manually. Nobody's doing. We just have too much. How do we make another one? Yeah, we're just making too many. Ooh, we got a level. Uh, removes the tariff from foreign imports. Effect will reduce in all import prices. There we go. So now we can import whatever the hell we want. Let's see what we're going to start with. First of all, we're going to assign another family here, because why not? Oh, you can only do... Oh, man. Should we do another trading post? Maybe. I think we want spears. Or something like that. Hmm. Maybe beer. Let's just do beer.
do a trade route. And we'll do import until we have 10 surplus. We're just going to spend all of our money on this. Everything that we have. And we're going to import some candles. Oh, well, candles don't matter. I didn't think of the clay making roof tiles. You just mentioned an excess of clay. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, I'm not sure how to get rid of the uh, excess of anything in this game because look at this, it's just piling up. Maybe we can export when it's like 150 plus or something. I don't know. We can do import grain. Summer's coming soon. Soon. Import apples. Yeah, but like we're gonna go bankrupt. Four hundred. Did we just sell? We just sold all the roof tiles. <laughs> this just disappeared. Look at that. Okay, so that's how it works. It depends on how many you have in the trading post. The guy's going to come in and take everything. Wow. All right. That's very important info. Market abuse. <laughs> it really is Momobo. How you doing, by the way? Good to see you. Man, the trade is going crazy. Order a new horse. I don't think we need a new horse. So we have yarn. What do we make with yarn? I think it's the artisans that have to do it. So that would be... Like... This. I think we might be able to upgrade to level 3. Yeah, look at that. Level 3. So these two houses can go level 3. Let's do this one first. Roof tiles, planks, timber. I'm gonna do like 16. Yeah, now we have full cash. Okay, so... It it was all about the trade, pretty much. That was the main mistake that I did. That's why it took us longer, but... This is how you do it. Let's go level 2. But you basically feed everyone if you just have these vegetables and chickens. Oh, I just realized something. You have to build a big house to have a large plot of vegetables. Deforestation killed berry bushes. Oh my god, really? Oh wow. Okay. Now what? Um. Wow. Uh. 
I'll have to move it here. have a market here but nobody is uh, setting up the stalls stock damage by weather okay whatever what this causes loss why probably because it hasn't been built Fire's refueling. Uh, no idea. Shoes. I suppose we're gonna start exporting shoes. Purpose of King showing up in town? That's just immersion stuff. Like, so you can walk around, around your town and see how beautiful it is. Although, I see some lines through. I don't know why. Well, let's ignore that. Hey, Silky. I don't know why there's this vignetting effect. I don't know where that's coming from. Like, it's in the sky for some reason. Kingdom Come Deliverance? Yeah, something like that. It's literally just for immersion. Ever been happier when your boss is around? I wouldn't know. This is heavier than it looks. Two hundred. Let's see if this is working. Are we getting any ale in? Clay berries, roof tiles, planks. I don't get it. We have 44 families and we have 35 living space. What happened? By the way, this is the manor. This is like the big building in this game, but kind of small, isn't it? Six planks for this dude. Oh, my God, look at this. So that's how you do a full circle around. You need to use these uh, towers. 
to expand the building area or something. I don't know what this uh, circle is, but yeah. Oh, we can't commit to this because we don't have enough cash. Apparently we need more planks. Where's the beer? Clothing 96%. That's fine. Just not getting any bread apparently. Anyways, guys, whistle tunes. I could learn some of these if I can get them in my head. I was just practicing the other day a few new ones. One by David Arkenstone, who uh, composed the World of Warcraft music as well. Correct spot. Or it's not in the shade. I don't get why this uh, vignette is here. It's just a bug. You can control your king. It might be worth the buy, depending on what you we want, but we don't know the price yet, so... And I'm not supposed to review the game yet, from what I'm seeing. Again, there's a lot of bugs, it seems. Uh, n nothing too critical, but like this vignette, it's, it's weird, right? Stuff like that. And we haven't even seen the end game in this game. We haven't seen the army and all that. It's a weird game to balance, that's for sure, because you're supposed to make an army, but that will slow your economy down completely. I don't know. And you see that you can see through. <laughs> There's some lines in certain places, like edges of tiles. Because everything's being rendered live, so it's hard to have good occlusion. And uh, but the, the, so far, what we've seen is pretty impressive in a lot of ways. Shadows are covering the plan. Yeah, there's a lot of shadows. It's hard to make uh, a call of what's right, what's not. In general, the game looks great. Like, the foliage is very detailed. But what are these guys doing? Like, sometimes you have to go on this level to figure out when, when these morons just <laughs> doing the craziest things. What are, what are they doing here, for example? Like, you have to go out now and just see what the hell is happening. Like, why are they down here? Did we interrupt something? Servant? And... Retainer? Retainer? Yeah, literally. Uh, 
I want to build a garrison tower. But we don't have enough wood. Probably gonna need more livestock. No, we can't. Well, then we need another chopper. Yeah, that's our small village. I built this church in the shade. Maybe I should cut these trees down. Also, it seems like the sun is always that way. Let me see. Yeah, the sun is coming from the south. Is the, am I looking south? What is south here? I mean, I, I suppose it's down. Is it though? Man, how do I... Why is the sun coming from the north east always? Because the church is here. The sun is coming from this side constantly. Just makes for weird shades, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's north. <laughs> Wait, why do we even have people assigned? Grave digger. Guiding an ox. He's guiding an ox? Question mark? Guiding an ox. Trading. Guiding an ox. Who's guiding an ox? What ox? Why is he walking right next to the trader? Anyways, stuff like that might be a little bit, you know, what is going on, but that happens in these complex uh, economy simulators. There's a lot of things I don't understand yet. Like... There's some stalls. There's a marketplace here, but nobody's making any stalls on it. Like, none. And this one is full. So, I don't... I don't get it. Approval will fail if not fulfilled. Okay, I tried to cheat the system, I I will say. Fuel stall supply. Yeah, we're running out of fuel. Where did I move it? Yeah, so let's say you need to find a certain building, like <laughs> maybe like this. But even then, like, it doesn't say what building it is. Logging camp. Okay, what is this? Woodcutter's Lodge. It's not done yet. So you can upgrade a building to level 2, but and then if you... If you lose some of these requirements over time, it'll just downgrade. Apparently. See? There's no beer. But they're mad. There's no beer. I need to keep importing beer. I just don't know how to make it faster. Desire surplus, let's say 30.
Yeah, I'm not fully on, on, on all the mechanics. I'm trying to understand them. Fifty grain. I'm gonna put like guy, one guy in the windmill. One in the oven. I mean, this tab preview is very good. You can see the oxen as well. I might need a few more oxen. Three more. Yeah, we're just barely surviving on the food, but uh, it's very, very, very important to have these uh, vegetable gardens and chicken coops. Otherwise, yeah, look at this shadow currently, but there's no cloud. There's no sun that I can see. Oh, the sun is up there. But there's no cloud that's causing this. It's just some sort of weather effect. It just looks a little weird, because it's pretty static. But uh, th they got most things right. I'm sure they'll get it fully right at some point. But yeah, guys, let's wrap it up for today. Uh, we'll be back possibly tomorrow with more of this. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope you liked the game. Uh, we might play more. Uh, also add some PUBG and stuff and some chess. And uh, guys, have a great rest of your day. Take care.